There's a live update on COVID-19. More than 3.3 million confirmed cases worldwide have been tested positive for the virus. Many US states are reopening this weekend, lifting restrictions after weeks of being in lockdown. Trump says he has evidence coronavirus came from a Chinese lab, but he cannot reveal it. Russian Prime Minister Mikhail Mishostin tells President Vladimir Putin he has the virus. Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro, seen at the Planeto Palace in Brasilia on April 29th, has shown little empathy for victims of the virus. Sudanese government bans female genital mutilation. The action fell under the government's commitment to international human rights agreement. North Korean state media reports Kim Jong-un made first public appearance in weeks. Hundreds of tourists are still stuck in the Maldives. The government is helping people who cannot afford to continue staying in resorts. When it comes to the coronavirus, South Australia ought to be the new considered among the safest places in the world. Saudi Arabia stops death penalty for people who committed crimes as minors. And Iran says Germany to face consequences over Hezbollah ban. Bangladesh reopens garment factories despite caution by labor advocates. And amongst, amidst the pandemic, there is a good news. Massive hole in the ozone layer over the Arctic is now closed. This is Jyoti, correspondent, Our Voice.